Hello, young humans. It's your old friend, Michael Shabon, and I'm here for story time. And today I'm going to read you Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. This one's been a favorite of mine for a very long time. It was a favorite of my kids. It was a favorite of my little brothers. It's, uh, it was written by Judith Viorst and it was illustrated by Ray Cruz. Here's the title page. There's Alexander. And it starts like this. It's Alexander talking. <clears throat> I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. You ever start out your day like that? With everything going wrong? That's what happened to Alexander. Waking up with gum in your hair is no fun. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I don't know if they still put cool prizes inside of boxes of sugary breakfast cereal, but they used to. And Alexander didn't get one. I think I'll move to Australia. He's pretty sad already, and it's just morning. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey, there's my dog. Okay, we told the dog to be quiet. Let's carry on. So, in the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be carsick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. D oh, did I show you the pictures? I don't think I did. There he is, scrunched into the car, not very happy about it, see? Everyone else gets a seat by the window. But not Alexander. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. Well, there's Mrs. Dickens, the teacher. There's all the kids in the class. Here's Paul and his picture of a symbol. Let's check out Alexander's picture of the invisible castle. What do you think of that picture? I'm not sure I would be too impressed by if I were Miss Dickens either, because it looks to me like he didn't do anything. At singing time, she said, I sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend 
and that I was only his third best friend. See? There they go. Paul, Philip, and Albert. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. That is pretty angry. Talk. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert. Oh, man. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's, oh, here, here we go. That's how you feel when your mom forgot dessert. See them all? Cupcake, jelly roll, Hershey bar, nothing. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and at Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. Why do you think Alex, Alexander wants to go to Australia. Why do you think that's the place he says he wants to go? Maybe just because it's as far away as he can think of. Because if you live in the United States, Australia is very far away. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my feet. Foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And, okay, first of all, there he is. <laughs> After he got his foot stuck in the door. And then he fell in the mud. And his brothers are not being very kind to him. And they're calling him mean names like crybaby. But that's not all. And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me, me, for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. See, here comes the mom. I don't know if you have siblings, but if you do, it has probably happened to you that you feel like the one who gets in trouble for something that the other one was also doing. Does that ever happen? Sometimes it's hard for parents to figure out just what's going on and who did what to whom. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. Wow, he is just really, you got to admit, this is not a great day he's having. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. 
He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Wow. Well, maybe Alexander was not necessarily on his best behavior at his dad's office. See his dad there with a the mustache and the necktie. There were lima beans for dinner. And I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV. And I hate kissing. Lima beans? <laughs> Have you ever had lima beans? Actually, I kind of like lima beans. I gotta admit. I always have, but everyone has something they don't like, and he doesn't like lima beans. And this is what happens when he sees kissing on TV. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. See that? Does not have any good time in his bath. He took his marble in there. Maybe not the greatest idea. And there he is in his railroad train pajamas, which I kind of think are kind of cute. I don't know why he doesn't like them. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Here he is, in his bed. The Mickey Mouse nightlight is burned out. The cat won't sleep with him. He bit his tongue. But his mom says, some days are just like that. Even in Australia. Finally fell asleep. And people in Australia have terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days too. And when he wakes up tomorrow, it will be another day. And he could start over. And tomorrow will be better. We hope. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story. I enjoyed reading it to you. And I'll see you again. Probably not tomorrow. Probably the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow's house cleaning day around here again. That usually wipes me out for story time. But we'll see. In any case, next time I see you, I will have a new story for you. And until then, stay safe, be kind, have fun. Bye. <laughs>